welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're taking a look at our brand new solar system. Uh, left the good glasses at home today, didn't I? So if they're a bit wonky, I apologise. Don't let it distract you. So let's firstly have a quick look at all the different stuff we actually have as part of our solar system. So as you can see, we've got a couple of 15 kilowatt inverters now. So we've got a total of 30 kilowatts worth of capacity on our mini grid system. And we're still super early in the morning, but as you can see, the batteries are almost fully charged again. And we have just over 10 kilowatts coming in. We've got two brand new solar smart inverters, MPPT from Victron. They're capable of having two strings going each one. And you might have seen in a previous video that we installed this Sunny Boy with the solar panels down at the chicken shed. Now this outputs a decent amount in AC. Whereas these new ones output DC current straight to the batteries. And for the batteries we have two of these BYD battery boxes. Each one 15 kilowatts. And then we've got a big old bus bar here, fuses here, a main breaker switch here to switch between the inverter system and just running on the generator. And of course, everything has its own isolators so we can turn each thing off independently. And then of course, we have the backup generator. Quite often overlooked, I think, the importance of having a good generator in most people's systems because this is the ultimate lifeline for your system if either your batteries go low in the winter or your inverters break completely. This backup generator will save you. So in my mind, it's always worth getting a good one like this. Well, reason number one. Unless you live super far north, most parts of the world, you will have an abundance of daylight at least six seven hours of daylight a day peak times that will be pure sunshine that means for the majority of the year you're going to have more than enough power to keep your batteries charged and run effectively on free electricity which with the uh, the current climate and the way things are going energy price wise it's only becoming more and more cost effective to install a solar system so when I first started looking at solar, you were talking maybe 15, 16 P for what you would pay for grid electricity. So there was around a seven to 10 year payback period, depending on how much electricity you actually use on a solar system. Now we're talking 40 P plus per kilowatt in the UK. So we've under halved that time just because the climate's changed. COVID now another war causing oil prices to, uh, keep tumbling upwards tax to go upwards and it's now the same with the generator that you'll need to get as part of your solar system if you're off grid like us because your backup generator is going to use fuel on the days when you don't have enough sunshine so now it's effectively the better generator you get the less fuel you'll be using so the quicker you'll be saving money to pay for it basically and that leads me on to point number two very nicely that is the component cost of the solar system have actually stayed the same mostly if not a little bit cheaper on the panels but a little bit more expensive on the batteries so again compared to even a year and a half ago two years ago now you're going to save a lot of money getting solar rather than installing a power cable from the grid and obviously if you're already grid connected solar panels are getting cheaper and cheaper so you're going to make your money back even faster than you would have, like I say, a couple of years ago. Most people just look at the sort of the guarantees that come on the equipment and use that to judge your sort of payback period. If you're going to pay for it in that sort of warranty time, then you're all good. Which, uh, yeah, leads me to point number three very nicely. And that is that the warranties on all the different solar components now are all well above the actual payback period for themselves. So we've got five year and eight year warranties on the inverter stuff but they've all got sort of around a three year payback now and we've got 25 year guarantees on the solar panels so yeah hell of a long time effectively free power as within a couple of years like I say about three and a half years now the whole solar system will have paid for itself which means all your equipment becomes a very low risk asset on the books as I always recommend to people if you're going to do this sort of thing 
you've got to be set up as a farm or a business for your tax purposes and whatnot. And yeah, now, as the paybacks are well above and beyond the time it's going to take for the warranties to run out, you've got a good solid asset you can buy there with minimum risk because manufacturers are going to cover any breakages and you've obviously got insurance like me so any fires or water damage or anything like that is covered by them so you can effectively have yourself free power put yourself a decent asset on your business books which then if you ever need to you could then refinance that asset so you're effectively getting free electricity for no real cost Obviously, you've got to front the cash or get the finance for the original install. But like I say, it's such super low risk, it just makes sense to now. And obviously, you'll have to do your individual maths and quotations. But you can pretty much guarantee you'll get the loan to put in your solar system for cheaper a month than you're actually currently spending on electricity. So there's a bit of a bonus point here. As an environmental point of view, you're saving a hell of a lot of carbon. And so far... Off the little system, we generated sort of about a megawatt and a half worth of power. And off the big one, we're probably on half a megawatt already. So it's probably around two megawatts we've generated on the farm throughout the years so far of green solar power, which not sure on the exact figures, but that's a hell of a lot of carbon saved from power stations. I'm going to be doing a few videos on our solar setup, more to do with the costs, etc. in the next one, I think. So if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you catch that video coming up. And if you've got any questions about the solar system or any info you'd like to know yourself, just drop a comment below and I'll try and cover that in another video. Alright then, leave this video here. Until next time then, bye bye.